Hello and welcome. In this video series of Azure Key Vault, today we are going to learn how we can retrieve secrets from Azure Key Vault using code. In the previous video, we learned how we can import or generate keys, secrets, and certificates in the Azure Key Vault. I have also created a playlist on Azure Function Apps, Azure Logic Apps, and Azure Database for MySQL. If you are interested, I will provide link to those playlists in the description box. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more. In the next video, we will learn how we can encrypt and decrypt our data using Azure Functions. Let's open Visual Studio Code. So this is the default code provided whenever we create a function using VS Code. So here we can write our own code to fetch the key from the Azure Key Vault. We'll be using default Azure credentials. Default Azure credentials. So to use the default Azure credentials, so we have to sign into the Azure portal from the command line here. Click on the terminal. Click on new terminal. So here we have to use this command easy login. So once we run this command, a new browser will open. Here we have to choose the account using which we are going to log on to the portal. So we have successfully logged into the portal. Let's go back to the VS Code. So the default credentials will be our Active Directory username and password. So once we have created this credential token, we can create an instance of the Key Vault secret. Now let's create a secret client here. So to this secret client object, we will pass the vault URL. And the credentials that we generated yet, that we generated. After creating the secret client, we can use the secret client to get the key from the key vault let's create a key vault class secret We'll be using async method. So we will use this get secret async method. And here we will pass the name of the key. So I have already declared this key name and key vault URL above. Let's log this key vault information here in our console. Check whether we were successful to log the, get to check whether we were successful to get the key from the vault or not. So we are done with the code. Let me show you the key vault URL and key name. This is the key vault URL and this is the key name. Let me show you from where we got this key vault URL and key name from. Let's go to Azure portal sign into the portal so here click on key vaults option from here this is the key vault that we have created earlier so from here we click on the secrets so these are the secrets that we have created this is the one that we are going to use in our code on this 
secret here so this is the secret identifier or the URL that we have used in our code here similarly this is the name of the secret so before running this code we need to install the necessary dependencies like azure.identity and the heading dot tasks for this await async function let's run our code debug so we are missing this termination here save it run again without debugging so we have successfully built our project and the project is running on this local host address 7071 so if we call this api from our browser if we call this api from our browser so we will be able to get the key from the key vault thanks for watching thanks for watching